Good morning. Today's workshop is brought to you by the College and Career Readiness Department at the Napa County Office of Education. So today we're going to talk about work ethic and what great work ethic is and how you can actually demonstrate that you've got that. So let's talk first about what is work ethic. So the definition is a standard of conduct and values for job performance. So in other words, it's what you bring to the job, not necessarily your skills, but your um, attitude, really, about the job. Great work ethic is an attitude that combines hard work, good performance, and dependable results. So it's showing up on time. It's being prepared to do your job. It's giving 100% while you're there. Um, in other words, it's giving eight hours of work for eight hours of pay. So when we developed this workshop, one of the videos we came across had to do with Kobe Bryant's work ethic and just the unbelievable dedication that he has to his craft. And when he passed away, I debated on whether or not we should remove it. But honestly, I have not seen another vivid demonstration of what strong work ethic is. So go ahead and take a look. Still waiting for a big smile out of you. You're up 2 0. What's the story? Are you not happy or you're only half happy or? Stay to be happy about. You're up 2 0. Job's not finished. Job finished? I don't think so. That is just greatness personified. Okay. So I think regardless of what you think is of Kobe Bryant, whether or not you believe he's the best basketball player of all time or not, after watching that video, you can't deny the fact that this is somebody who was 100% dedicated to his job. Um, the fact that he didn't stop practicing until he got 400 shots. The fact that in high school, he was at school from 5 a.m. to 7 p.m. I don't know how many high school students I know that do, that do that, but it truly shows his dedication to his craft. So let's talk about the elements of a strong work ethic. First of all, integrity. Are you doing the right thing? Productivity. Are you producing when you're on the job? Your attitude, your enthusiasm, are you showing up and, and wanting to be there? Are you, are you actually happy about being there to do your job? Or at the very least, are you able to pretend you're happy about being there to do your job? Your appearance, are you showing up with all of the pieces of your uniform? Are you dressed appropriately? Initiative, are you doing things without being asked, or are you having to be directed through every aspect of your job? And then finally, teamwork. Are you able to work well with your coworkers, whether you're friends or not? Um, being able to work together is one of the most important aspects of um, being a good employee, and that's what we're hearing from employers today. 
So again, integrity. Are you trustworthy? Are you honest? The very definition of integrity is doing the right thing even if nobody's watching. So are you always doing what's best? And I know this isn't always easy, especially as high school students, but you know, it's it, it, being right is not always being is not always the popular decision. Right is right, even if no one's doing it. Wrong is wrong, even if everyone's doing it. And again, not always an easy thing to do, particularly as, as, a, as a teenager or as a high school student. Um, but strong work ethic, good work ethic is always trying to do the right thing. Teamwork. Do you work well with others? Again, this is one of the number one complaints we're hearing from employers today. And it's not just employers that are employing teenagers, but even adults. Um, we've got to be able to work together. We've got to be able to, to come together as a team. And if you saw our teamwork workshop, we talked about what are the elements that go into making a good team? And are you somebody that contributes to those elements? Your attitude, your enthusiasm, are you excited to be at work? You may not love your job. You're, you're high school students and so therefore you may have a job that is just really to, to earn some extra money right now. But are you in a position where you can show up every day that you're scheduled and put your best foot forward? It's not always an easy thing to do. Um, my first job was in fast food. I worked in a small town that catered to the ski industry and um, I had to be at work at 5.30 every morning. And we had people lined up out the door before we opened at 7 a.m. And so I had to be able to greet those customers with a smile on my face, regardless of how I felt about having to be there at 5.30 in the morning. Your appearance, are you dressed appropriately for your job? So if you're required to wear a uniform, are you showing up with every aspect of that uniform? Are you dressing the way your employer has asked you to dress, essentially? Productivity, are you efficient? Are you able to multitask? Do you know when it's best to multitask versus not? So again, it's giving eight hours of work for eight hours of pay. It's not showing up and talking to your friends. It's really being able to get the job done and, and look at ways to do it correctly, but maybe as fast as possible. Initiative. Do you have ambition? Are you a leader? Are you somebody that wants to take on a problem and figure out how to solve it? Are you somebody that can be left alone and still get your job done? Or do you have to be supervised and managed all the way through every aspect of your job? Um, so example, if you're working in a food service environment, are you somebody that when the rush is over will go and look for things that need to be done such as trash being taken out or tables being cleaned? Or are you standing talking with your friends about the rush that just came through? So again, being able to show that initiative and the ambition and just really working to get your job done and encouraging others to do the same. All right, so another person that I want to um, talk about who just has, to me, an incredible work ethic is Will Smith. And this is a montage of, of some interviews that he's been involved in. But again, he's another one that is absolutely 100% dedicated to his craft. When he shows up to the set, he is there to give 110%. So let's take a look. I've, I've never really viewed myself as particularly talented. I view myself as, you know, slightly above average in talent. And where I excel is ridiculous sickening work ethic you know while the other guy's sleeping i'm working while the other guy's eating i'm working i will not be, be out outworked right period you might have more talent than me you might be smarter than me you might be sexier than me but if we get on the treadmill together <laughs> right there's two things you're getting off first yeah or i'm gonna die it's really that simple. The majority of people who 
aren't getting the places they want or aren't achieving the things that, that they want in this business is strictly based on hustle. It's strictly based on being outworked. It's strictly based on missing crucial opportunities. I say all the time, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get, get ready. ready. I'm with you. All right. So again, one of the things he says in there that's fascinating to me is if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. So again, if you're, if you're showing up with your best attitude and you're showing up on time and you're showing up with all of the aspects of your job that are in, that you need, then you're, you're demonstrating I'm, I'm... a strong work ethic and that's what our employers are looking for. All right. So now that we've talked about that, um, there is an activity in the Google folder that's been shared with you called bringing character to work. And in that activity, normally I would have you draw out of a, a basket or a hat and, and work in groups, but obviously the way things are right now, we can't do that. So what I'd love for you to do is again, at home with siblings or even you could even do this over the phone or in a zoom call with your friends. Choose a scenario, figure out what the best, most ethical way to handle that scenario might be, and then discuss that. Um, you're all going to have different opinions about what it is that you should do. All of these are, are scenarios that you very well could run into as, as uh, somebody working in your field. Um, for example, one of the scenarios in there that's my favorite is having to do with friends coming in and wanting free food and are you willing to give that to them just to be popular so go ahead and look at those scenarios and discuss them and see what you come up with and then I would challenge you to kind of give a, a short reflection of what it is that you think would be the best way to handle that scenario all right thanks for being with us today and I hope you're all having a great day bye-bye